Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I am going to show you a little haul of some items I've got to do some resin artwork with. I've gotten really into resin artwork and I can't wait to make more. At the moment I'm waiting for more supplies and this video is meant to include those supplies but unfortunately there's been a big mix up. Um, so this video is going to be in two parts. I'm going to show you what I've got here and then when my other order arrives I'm going to show you all that as well and I'm going to try and move through this quite quickly. So basically I was using this jug from my kitchen uh, to like mix up the resin in. I bought a big jug, you know, size comparison. This is two and a half liter pitcher. Uh, it doesn't have um, like measurements or anything on it, but I'm gonna go off of weight with it. Um, so I got this plastic, $3.50. I went to a craft store, they had a 50% off sale, but this item uh, was excluded from that because it was usually $10, it was down to two. It's got a, uh, a big crack in the glass. I thought I could just use it as either just a storage container or I could take the glass out and perhaps do something, some sort of design on the piece that's in here. I, I haven't quite worked it out yet, but it's something I can look at um, in the future. Uh, another thing, on this table I have a plastic film. I have been using this, but it's very, very thin, and I already started to rip holes with it, trying to rip off the cured resin. So I upgraded and got myself this uh, 0.5 mil plastic sheet. It did cost me a whopping like 18, 19 dollars to get this thing. It doesn't even get to the ends of the table, but it will do. I got it delivered because uh, thing I didn't want to go to the store. So it's $10 for this and then the rest of delivery. I have it now so we don't have to spend any more money on plastic. Fingers crossed. At the craft store, these are usually $10 so down to five. There are lots of little gemstones and uh, they can all be cut individually. They've got a bit of sticky on the back. They're like holographic and I'm thinking I can incorporate them into some projects somehow. I haven't quite decided how yet. From Kmart, I got this mixed pack of glitter and there are a bunch of glitters in there. It cost me $5, I think. There's definitely some really cool looking ones like this one here. It's kind of like flakies. Um, and there's another sort of flake one up here in pink shade. Uh, I really liked the like laser cut stars. If you can see them. There's a couple of shades of those stars. So see how I can incorporate them as well. From Kmart, I wasn't quite sure what these were gonna be. I ordered them online and it's a 12 pack of wooden plates. It was $3 and I was like, is there any way I can use these with my resin? But now that I can see them, I might mm, them perhaps just look very cheap and I might not even go there. It's only three dollars, it doesn't matter. I can just not do that if I want. So cheapest chips, they had this little cheese board. This is three dollars and I just thought that that's super cute. I can make something happen with that. At Kmart, they had uh, this three pack of mini serving boards. And you can see like they are small. But they're kind of good for like a little decorative art piece uh, and this was six dollars so each little board was two duck, uh, two ducks two bucks and uh, yeah I think that would be like a really cheap way to make some artwork on one of those they have this little lazy Susan um, and this was seven dollars fifty so it's kind of towards the expensive side of things but I think it could be really cute. So go one of those. This here, it's a, a cheese board like this, and it does say cheese under this, uh, but I have painted over it. Um, I've filled in the cheese part um, a little bit just to make it more of a flat base so that I could do some work on this. And it doesn't mean that it's gonna be these colors. I was just having fun with some pastel paints. Uh, but yeah, this was $8 and for the size of it, I was like, if I can make that work, that's kind of like a good price. I mean, $7.50, $8, a bit of a size difference there. So we'll see how that goes. Next up, we have a Lazy Susan. Now I'm just going to show you, this is the one I made at the art class I went to 
and these actually sell at Ikea for $14.99 but I don't live close to Ikea and uh, if I can avoid going places making more trips than I need to at the moment I am doing so. So this is at Cheapest Chips and if you look at the size difference it is a little smaller. This one has a diameter of 35, this one has a diameter of 39. So we got four centimeters difference in diameter, but this was $14. I bought it thinking, oh wow, that's a heap cheaper than this one because I thought in my brain that this one was 19, but it's only 15, so it's only a dollar difference. But I guess the good part about this was it was right in front of me and I don't have to make another trip. So I got a couple of these, um, Lazy Susans are great. Also, the IKEA one has a rounded edge, which allows for me to have the resin go over the edges as well. But these ones have a flat edge, so I will have to take off the edge and just do the top. But sometimes, especially with this beautiful oak colored wood, having that, that raw edge and then the resin top still looks really nice as well. Now, craft store again. I got a glitter shaker and this has a bunch of flakes in it, different colors. I really like this white sort of iridescent-y one and I mean purple and a lot of the colors. I'm not all that keen on the black one, but this was usually $11 so I got it for $5.50 and I figured, you know, it's 80 grams worth of glitter so... It's not too bad. Okay, this one here, not the craft store, this one is like compensation for my order being late. The one that I haven't received yet, which is starting to feel like perhaps not enough compensation because the days are just going and going and going and I'm still waiting for the order. But anyway, so this is called Aluminium Smooth and it is supposed to be just a metal powder in a silver color, which I was missing from all my pigments that I had so now I filled that spot back to the craft store <laughs> so they had this alcohol ink and this one is in metallic copper I have a copper in my pigment set so this is uh, the copper color I have the pigment for we're not gonna get it to focus are we no no we're not this is the alcohol ink copper now this is much pinker than the pigment one I have. So I'm sure I can find a use. I love the color. It looks great. There we go. Pretty. So yeah, it would be interesting to use some alcohol ink in my resin. I know it's doable. I just haven't done it before. Uh, and then I also got this um, pearl pigment in rose gold, which I don't have a rose gold. They are a bit different again. When you put it next to that copper, once again, like this is more of a pale pink. Um, and also I have a powder which is called Flesh. Gross, but it's actually like a really pretty um, pigment, how it shows up and it's got that gold flake through it. And I was, well, not flake, fleck. Um, I was wondering whether this rose gold would end up kind of similar to this. I don't have heaps of it, so if it is similar, that's cool because I do love it so much. I'll just, you know, use um, more of it. <laughs> Won't use it as sparingly. But it does look a little um, more like a true rose gold. Prices for those. This was 10. I thought it was 7.50, but it ended up being 10 and whatever, it's fine. And this one was 7.50. So for 21 grams and 59 mil. You see, this one's worth like 14.95. It's 15 grams, so what else have I got? I also ugh, got this long acacia serving board. Super pretty. It is kind of weighty, but so I see people do um, resin on cheese boards and they usually just use like a section of it um, and then leave the rest of it open for food use because resin's not meant to have food on top of it and you're not meant to cut on it because you could damage it so I was thinking with this how long it is even if I cover both ends there'll still be all this space in the middle for putting cheeses and, and other foods on it and this one costs $16 so kind of on the pricier side of things 
Um, but yeah, I'm excited to try it out, try out doing just the ends of it and uh, it'd be something different, you know. Here I have a metal tray table. Now I saw these on Ikea's website and they didn't have any of the white one in stock, but they do have like a light blue and a emerald green sort of color. I found this on at Kmart, same price, so $20. If you see, it's like a tray. It's got a little bit of a lip up here, but to be able to put the resin into a tray, um, a watertight like vessel for it, means I don't have to tape all the edges. And also because of the style of tray, it just sits on top of these legs and you can just remove it and use it like on your lap or on a table somewhere or whatever. So it doesn't have to be on the legs all the time, which means if someone really bought it because they liked it as just a piece to sit on their countertop or perhaps somehow hang on the wall or something like that, it doesn't have to be a coffee table type thing. So I liked the, uh, options of doing something like that. I also got more of these side tables that I've been doing. I've done three of these now and I got another five. I was about to say eight but no that's how many I've bought in total. Uh, so I got another five because I figured if I ever heap then I won't feel so precious about oh well I better not try that design out because I've only got so many left. And that was the thing with the first three I bought. The first one was like, I can do anything. This is wonderful. And the last one was like, well, this is the only other design that you can create. So now I have five more of those. And I already had this one, but I haven't used it yet. And it is a 56 centimeter diameter round mirror. And the mirror comes out and so you can do the resin on that and then it slips back into this frame which has a strap on it that hangs up on the wall so it's kind of like heavy already like not heaps heavy but a little heavy and I'm worried that the resin will make it like super duper heavy but I'm gonna try it once I have seen um, someone else do it with one of these mirrors so that's what I have now and uh, I will be back once I've got the other part of this resin hole, I'll see you in a sec. It's the next day. I finally have my order. Now a quick backstory on this order. I ordered it on the 30th of April. I received an order that was not my order. So I got someone's order and she got mine. So I contacted the company and I had to repackage uh, what I'd received and put a new label on it, stick it outside to be picked up. So I received it on Tuesday, picked up on Thursday, arrived at her place on Friday. Yay for her, she got her order. Me on the other hand. <laughs> so she received my order uh, on that same Tuesday my order wasn't sent until the following week friday so that was yesterday and then it arrived today which is actually saturday so thankfully they did deliver on the weekends because i was getting very antsy it's now the 23rd of may and it's taken 23 days to move from one state across the border i should have had this like a week and a half ago but anyway, I have it now. I'm gonna quickly unbox it and just double check that I have everything in my order because the fact it's gone to someone else before it's come to me. Um, I gotta make sure that everything's there. Uh, this is like $300 worth of stuff. So excuse me for being a little bit worried about not actually getting my order. <laughs> I can finally do resin projects now. I've been waiting on this for 23 days. Let's get into it. It's all here, yay. This is the main portion of my order. It is some more resin. It is a uh, two to one mix resin. And the type I was using before could only handle up to 50 degrees Celsius. A mug actually gets hotter than that. And so really you can't use it for coasters unless you want it to melt. So this one can go up to 110 degrees Celsius. So I can make some coasters with it. I got six liters here and six liters cost me $220. All up, the shipping was $18 for all of this, so it sort of gets broken up on top of the prices I've paid, but that's the base cost, the $220 for this resin. I was considering getting an even bigger amount, uh, 15 liters for, I think it was about $400, 
but I thought maybe I'll test it out first and make sure that I'm happy using this type of resin before I go ahead and put so much money into it and I ended up spending, you know, $320 anyway, so it wouldn't have really mattered. <laughs> but I got to get resin and a few pigments and stuff. So um, $220, then I got like a little jug. This is $3 and it's a liter, I think, and it's broken. <sighs> hmm. It's broken at the base too. So this is useless. Oh, this is sad. Well, I'm going to have to send a picture to her and annoy her some more, which is wonderful. Okay, moving on. It's only $3. We can live. Um, next up, we have Amethyst. So this is a... Oh, it's a luster paste. I didn't realize it was a paste, but, you know, we'll, we'll work with it. I haven't used a paste before. I've used powders um, I thought it was a powder, but it's not. So anyway, this is 50 grams. So it's this beautiful color. So that one cost me 12.50, I think. Yep, 12.50. I also got this one. This one's um, 12.50 as well. So this one is called Spearmint Sparkle. And wow, I am impressed that is super pretty this once again is a paste pretty i'm going to use that in my next project i reckon then this one um is a mousse and it's in the color emerald it's 12.50 again this is like a deeper green and oh man do i love that one as well and there's the two for comparison so they're a nice sort of pair this one was a limited edition um, and I if I'd realized these were paste I wouldn't have felt the need really to buy a mousse but I, I wanted to try a different consistency to a powder so now I've got three different ones to try but I also was really like in love with the the deep emerald color of this one so glad I got that so then I got this epoxy pearl pigment pro in strawberry kisses and this should be a powder i believe i saw a little sample of what this comes up like and it's stunning and i have nothing like it yeah it is a powder i want to use that one too can i use all these colors and that was 10.95 this one was also 10.95 this one is a Pearl powder, same, same type as that one. This one's in the color Portello. Oh, if you show the base, you can really see the color there. Oh yeah. I feel like I might have something kind of similar to this. So I'm gonna check my samples in a sec. Sorry about the plane going overhead. The last thing I bought was um, some chunky unicorn glitter. This cost me $18.95. In person, I'm like, I, uh -huh, not sure, not sure. I liked it because it had this green to purple reflect, like an iridescent. Um, almost $20 spent on just this bag that fits in my hand, but glitters are kind of expensive, so. Okay, there we go, that's all that I bought. So these are the pigments I already have in any tone sort of close to Portello. So I have both of these. This is the only red that I've got, which is a uh, very clown red. It's not the nicest. Um, so there's Portello again, and there is that one. And this one, it's got a bit more of a pink to it. And then in terms of pink, the closest colors I've got are pale pink rose red which is very very different and that flesh one which is also different in, in the green realm of things next to the emerald it's very lime green this one's jade green yeah very different again uh this one is peacock green is this close that would be the closest but this still looks a, a bit deeper and then turquoise is way bluer. 
then the spearmint sparkle one once again completely different color completely different color completely different color so you're very much needed and so pretty and then the amethyst this is the only purple that I've got so you can see there's a big difference there okay so that's all for this video today I hope you've enjoyed it if you did please like and subscribe I will be doing more live stream videos where I make uh, resin tabletops and resin artworks so if you want to see them make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll get notified when I go live for those streams um, but other than that I hope I'll see you in another video soon. Bye.